On this video, I'm going to give you my top five organization tips for your RV. do a video of if I had to tell somebody five things to do to keep their RV organized these are the ones that I would tell you to do this might be different for some people but these are my top five I think that if you do these top five and don't do anything else it will help your RV be more organized so let's just go ahead and get into this video my number one thing is a label maker. If you can get a label maker and you can label things, it will help you stay more organized in your space. I feel a label maker is a huge organization must have because if you label things, even the people that don't put things up, a lot of times they'll put it up, they can visually see where that item goes. I know a lot of times people will just lay something down rather than putting it where it goes because they don't know where it goes. So I feel like a label maker is for sure something that will help you keep organized and I have tons of things labeled in our RV. The next thing is cord organization. Cords can make things look so unorganized really quickly when you have cords going in every different direction and they're just laying around. They look bad and they don't look like you're organized. But you can get some inexpensive cord organizations and I will link everything I talk about in the description box below. But I have some that I've gotten from Amazon and you can even get these from Timu and they're like super cheap through Timu. But if you don't like Timu, you can get them from Amazon. They're not that expensive. They're actually like a little strip. You can put your charging cords in them and they keep them up off the floor and out of the way. Also, I found some new ones. There are these cute little, they snap, they have like a little magnet and they have a hole for your cord to go up through. So you can stick these on the wall and then if you need to take the cord down for any reason, you can do that. And it's not attached to the wall forever. I just started using these because when I was researching this video, I wanted to find some new different ways to organize cords. And so when I saw these, I thought these were a great must have. Over at our charging area that we have, my watch battery charger, I only use it in the mornings and then it needs to be kind of put away. And rather than having to roll it up and put it in the drawer each time, I've got like a little thing that goes, that I bought from Amazon that goes on the charging brick. And then I just wrap it around it and leave it sitting there. And then when I need it again, I can just unwrap it, sit it down, put my watch on it and charge it again. Now, when I'm talking cord organization, I'm not just talking about your chargers. You can even free all your appliances. They make these cord organizers that you stick on the back of your crock pot, your toaster oven, anything that you have in your camper, and you can wrap the cord around it. And so that when you go to put it back up in the cabinet, the cord's not going everywhere. It is stuck to the appliances. And again, you can get those in all different prices. They're not that expensive. I'll link the ones from Amazon, but you can also get them from Timu super cheap. Another thing that I think keeps you very organized in your camper is bins. I love having bins and you don't have to break the bank by buying bins off of Amazon unless you want to. I have some of my favorite that I will link in the description box. I always just get the locker bins that are from the Dollar Tree and I have them in a lot of my cabinets. It makes it a lot easier to just have those up there so that you can put things in it. And then if you have a label maker, you can write and put a label on it that says what's inside that bin. That's the only thing is if you don't label it, it is better to have clear bins, but clear bins cost more. So why not just buy the $1.25 locker bin and label it? The thing about the locker bins, you can use a dry erase marker to label them. Just remember it can pop off and that's either a good thing or a bad thing. Another thing that I feel like really helps keep the camper organized is hooks. 
I like putting hooks in all different places on all the walls. You can just get command strip hooks and you can use those. So that way, if you ever want to take them down, you can. But I have hooks all over the camper. One's for our keys, one's for our towels, one's for our hats. I've got hooks all over the camper. This keeps things from laying around on the counter. It gets them up off of the counter, up off the floor, and gets them hung up and gets them out of the way so it doesn't make your camper look cluttered. My final tip for organizing your camper is use multiple purpose items. So basically is like, I have an ottoman. It is used as a seat. It is used to put your feet up on. It is used to put my blankets and everything that I don't want laying around I can put them in there and get them out of the way. And even on travel day, this thing puts all my pictures, which I haven't put them out since we've gotten back from camping. But this is where I put all my pictures and everything when we're traveling on travel day. But anytime you can find a multi-purpose item, that way it does help you stay more organized because it makes you have less stuff. I'm so glad to be back. I'm gonna try to post a video every other week. I don't wanna try to do it every week because that gets overwhelming trying to come up with ideas. I have quite a few ideas of different videos over the next while, so I don't want to get burned out and run out of videos to make for you. I hope you enjoy videos like this and let me know in the comments which organization hack that you're going to try out or maybe give me one of your top five that you love to use in your organization in your camper. Till next time, like and subscribe.